Hi everyone, it's Johnny here, and today we're talking about vape coils, and more specifically, when to change a vape coil. A vape coils are the heart of your e -cig. They produce your vapor and do a lot of the work while you're vaping. Now this means that they won't last forever, and every coil will eventually need replacing. But how do you know when to change a vape coil? Well, there are certain symptoms that your vape will exhibit to let you know that it's time to change your coil. Now in this video, we'll run through each one. If you want to skip to a specific issue, and click the chapters in the bar below or click the timestamp in the comments. Now firstly, let's have a look at how vape coils work. Your vape coil houses a coil of wire and wicker material. There are different types of coil and wicker material available, with the most popular combination being canthal wire and cotton wicking. The coil or wire sits either vertically or horizontally and either has wicker material wrapped around it or sitting through the coil. As you draw on your e-cig, e-liquid is drawn into the atomizer head. At the same time as drawing, you press the fire button on your battery, which heats your coil and vaporizes your e-liquid into an inhalable form. As you can see, there are a lot of small working parts to keep your vape in, so the time comes when your coil will need replacing. It's difficult to give a time limit on coils as there are a lot of variables such as how much you vape, what juice you're using, what your power setting is, or how long you draw for. All of these things contribute to the life of your vape coil. As a rough estimate, it can be anywhere between a few days and a few weeks. Now let's look at the signs your vape coil needs changing. Now the first sign is if your vape coil tastes dry. This can be a difficult one to describe, but if there's a dryness as you're vaping, then your coil either needs repriming or changing. By this, we don't mean a burnt taste. It's more of a feeling that you aren't getting the same thickness of vapor as usual. So if this occurs, then try repriming your coil first. Pop a few drops onto each e-liquid port on the side and one down the middle. If this doesn't help, then it's time to swap it out. The next sign is if your vape coil tastes burn. There are a few reasons why you can get a burning taste from your coil. If the tank has run dry of juice, you might get what is known as a dry hit. This is when the wicker material has no e-liquid to draw in. So it's just a coil of wire against the cotton heated up. If it was just a quick draw, there's a chance you can revive the coil. Just go through the repriming process from earlier in the video and you should be fine. But if you have a burning taste all the time and the flavour of your e-liquid is altered, it's time to pop a new coil in. If you're getting no vapour from your coil, this is another sign that you may need a new coil. As the parts of your atomizer start to deteriorate, it cannot produce the level of vapour that it used to. The coil of wire essentially becomes worn out and it can't produce the same level of heat that it used to. So if one day you're just not getting the same cloud of vapour, the chances are your coil's on its last legs. Now the next sign is if you're getting no flavour from your vape coil. Similar to vapour, but a surefire way to tell if it's time to get a new vape coil is when your vape juice just starts to taste different. This might not mean burning. Sometimes the flavour goes completely or it alters so it tastes different than you remember. If this is also happening with a brand new coil, there may be a chance that this is vapour's tongue and you've just gotten used to the flavour. Try switching to a different flavoured vape juice if this happens. Next up is your vape coil flooding. This is one you might not have considered, but when your atomizer head can't vaporize your juice properly, it gets flooded with e-liquid. This means that e-liquid is just sat in the wicking material and not moving anywhere. The more you draw, the more juice is pulled in, just not getting vaporized. Now this can lead to leaking, spitting, and gurgling. So try and flood in your coil by going outside and flicking the tank away from yourself to expel excess fluid. If it floods again, pop a new coil in and try again. The next up is a no atomizer message on your mod. We have a full video on this that goes into a lot of detail. We'll link it in the comments below, but if you have a message on your mod that says no atomizer or check atomizer, the chances are that your coil is done and you'll need to fit a new one. So this was a look at when you should change your vape coil. Remember, whenever you fit in a new coil, it's vitally important to prime it first. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. See you next time.